farmer Shadrach Mutisia has been growing coffee for four decades, but lately he's replaced most of his crop with banana, macadamia and avocado trees. He says seeing so many diseases pushed him to make the change. We only experienced a little bit of coffee rust, but now we see so many diseases, some so severe that they dry up the coffee trees. That is our biggest challenge now. The average Kenyan temperature has gone up by 0.3 degrees per decade since 1985, according to the U.S. Agency for International Development. <laughs> At the Mukuyuni Coffee Factory, farmers are learning techniques such as planting trees to shed their crop. And they are growing food crops alongside their coffee to add to their income. Shadrag Nzeki is the chief executive officer. We are trying to educate the members, particularly on tree planting, in the areas where there they, they are no trees. Particularly we plant the indigenous trees and uh, terrace our, our piece of lands to avoid the soil erosion. The soil erosion. The farmers have also started a savings and loan cooperative group to enable members to have access to credit facilities and save up. When the climate was good, the coffee production was doing very well. Then the production suddenly went down and at the same time, our day-to-day -day needs still needed to be taken care of. So we came together to find a lasting solution to these problems brought about by climate change. The country's coffee production is plummeting. The U.S. Department of Agriculture forecasts the 2019-2020 harvest will hit a 57-year low. Mariama Jalou, VOA News, Washington.